Crew supersonic speed, how the latest engine will change the combat characteristics of the Su-57 and S-70. The Russian defense industry has equipped the latest aircraft with a power plant whose characteristics American, Japanese, and Chinese developers cannot reach. Russian fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jets have begun to be equipped with a new power plant that allows them to develop supersonic speed in non-afterburning mode, the state corporation Rostec reported. This innovation will significantly enhance the fighter's combat capabilities. This refers to the second stage engine for the Su-57. During the development period, it was called Product 30, and now it has received the name AL-51. It was created to replace the AL-41 engines that were initially installed on the fighter. The Su-57 platform is evolving. Its combat capabilities are being increased. The most modern technologies are being introduced into the machine. That is, its effectiveness continues to grow. As for the power plants, the Su-57 aircraft is adapted for use with both the first and second stage engines. Even with the first stage engine, the fighter meets the main requirements of the fifth generation, Rostec said. Rostec added that 76 aircraft with the new engine will be supplied to the Russian Defense Ministry already under the existing contract of 2019. The creation of a new engine for the fifth generation fighter finally destroys the myth cultivated in the West about Russia's technological backwardness. Since the characteristics of the Russian development remain unattainable for specialists from various defense industries in the most developed countries of the world. The Su-57 is a Russian heavy twin engine multi-role fifth generation fighter aircraft created by P. O. Sukhoi Design Bureau. It was developed to replace the Su-27 heavy fighter. It made its first flight on January 29, 2010. It entered serial production in 2016. The first four aircraft were deployed to the Khmimim Air Base in Syria back in February 2018 for testing in real combat conditions. Since June 2022, it has been successfully used in the area of the special military operation. Su-57 engines. Initially, the Su-57 was equipped with AL-41 engines. With them, the aircraft meets all the characteristics of a fifth-generation fighter. However, in 2011 it was decided to start developing a new Product 30 engine, which, with the same dimensions, should provide non-afterburning thrust of 11,000 kgf force unit in the MKS system of units, and afterburning thrust of 18,000 kgf while being more economical than its predecessors. The first tests of the Product 30 were completed in 2016, and the first flight of the Su-57 with the new engine took place on December 5, 2017. This year, the main part of its flight tests has been completed, during which the engine confirmed its characteristics, including fuel economy. Completing the full cycle of flight tests and debugging of the engine will take about another two years. And the start of production of serial Su-57 fighters with second stage engines is expected before 2025. The AL-51 became the first engine that broke away from the fourth generation of power plants not only in terms of power and specific fuel consumption, but also in terms of specific thrust to weight ratio. It is over 11 colon 1. For comparison, the F-22 engine F-119PW100 has a thrust to weight ratio of 8. 96 to 1, the first stage Su-57 engine AL-41 has a thrust to weight ratio of 9, 35 colon 1. This engine improves specific performance both in terms of thrust and fuel consumption. One of the fundamental issues is to provide cruise supersonic speed without turning on the afterburner chamber, which will allow you to quickly and covertly reach the lines of use of weapons. This is especially important when performing missions over vast spaces, noted Oleg Pantelayev, CEO of Aviaport Agency, adding that neither the US, nor China, nor any other countries have engines with such characteristics. Thus, the AL-51 became the first fifth-generation versatile engine that can work equally efficiently in different modes and can be used in various types of aircraft and UAVs. The AL-51 will be able to power the Su-57 and Su-75 Checkmate fighter jets, and in the non-afterburning modification, strike drones such as the S-70 Okotnik. S-70 Okotnik UAV According to the developer's plan, the Su-57 will be used in conjunction with the heavy reconnaissance and strike Okotnik UAVs, which were also developed at the Sukhoi Design Bureau. This is the first heavy strike UAV of domestic production, whose design was started in 2012, and the drone made its first test flight in August 2019. 
The S-70 is made according to the flying wing scheme. Externally, it resembles a scaled-down version of the American B-2 Spirit Bomber and the Northrop Grumman X-47B UAV. The tactical and technical characteristics of the Okotnik are not disclosed. Without refueling, the Okotnik can stay in the air for more than a day. In terms of speed, flight altitude, and maneuverability, the S-70 will be comparable to fifth-generation aircraft. This is a jet aircraft, almost the same airplane, only without a pilot and with a high degree of automation of control processes and execution of flight missions. Among other things, it is integrated into the common automated aviation control system. This allows it to perform combat missions both independently and in conjunction with manned aircraft, said Vladimir Popov, honored military pilot of the Russian Federation, Major General Retired. According to most experts, one of the modifications of the new engine for the Su-57 may become a power plant for the Okotnik as well. Oleg Pantelayev believes that for the domestic aerospace forces this is a transition to a new level.